Greetings from the CM Russell Museum. I'm Executive Director Tom Figarelli, and welcome to our first installment of the 2020 Art in Action Artist Showcase. Each year, Art in Action is a patron favorite during Western Art Week here in Great Falls. It's certainly a dynamic part of the overall event schedule within the Russell exhibition and sale. As you may know, Art in Action is an exciting variation on a traditional quick draw, as nationally known artists have several hours to produce a piece of art while interacting with guests. This remote format is designed to still feature a sense of engagement by showcasing the personality, creativity, and work of each participating artist. Today, we're joined by Jennifer Johnson, a proud member of the Russell Skull Society of Artists, a fan favorite, and a good friend of the CM Russell Museum. Welcome, Jennifer. Thanks for joining us. Hey, sure. Good to see you. Well, it's good to see you, too. I, you know, with everything that's been going on in our world and in our country over the last few months, how have you been? You know, really good. Um, nothing too different for me working from home and painting. Uh, the biggest, I guess, uh, hurdle, uh, hurdle sorry, that I, I went through was just the remote learning for my kids. Um, I have three boys. My oldest two were easy, 15-year-old, uh, 12-year-old, so that, that's a freshman and a, a junior high student. But my little guy who is autistic, he's a third grader and gets lots of extra help from school. That's probably where my biggest hurdle was. I realized that I'm not a very good teacher and tried hard. We did a lot of um, hanging out in my studio. He loves to paint. Um, so, you know, we got through the day as best we could. And then it, if we sort of had a meltdown, I'm like, okay, time to paint, buddy. So that would probably be the, the my biggest hurdle. But otherwise, I'm always at home painting. So that wasn't a big, challenge for me. Well, what a beautiful story of being able to utilize art, your studio, and your talent to benefit your sons. That, I mean, that's a great thing. And probably like a lot of moms, right, just trying to wear the hat of, of teacher. I know my wife has been in the same boat. And it's not easy. You're absolutely right. No, it wasn't easy. Well, he, it was, it was fun. I, I sometimes help him draw a little bit. And he wanted uh, bubble fat from Star Wars. So <laughs> drew that out. And he painted it and I posted it online and he actually sold his painting, his first painting as an eight-year-old for 50 bucks. So he was wow. excited. So you some... produced a professional artist in the process. Yeah, yeah. So if anything, um, we've been having some fun with that. Well, that's great. Did Bubba Fett have a Western look to him or was he pretty traditional? It was, it was, pretty, it was pretty traditional, it, uh, you know, the typical with the whatever laser pack and his oh, back, you know. That's great parts but um you know he did a really good job and was very colorful and expressive so i was proud of him for that well good for you and and good for your son that that's that's great to hear and and thank you jennifer for being a part of this artist showcase as we take a new spin and a new approach to art in action uh given the constraints and the dynamics that we have you've been uh such a, a, a loyal part of the russell exhibition and sale now for going on a decade um, you've been a, a fan favorite, as I mentioned, with Art in Action. Can you speak to us why Art in Action in this type of format, in its more conventional sense, um, just tends to attract you and, and, and kind of maybe inspire you as an artist? Um, yeah, I've, it's always been uh, my favorite event. So go up to the show and, you know, at the, the country club and painting and actually getting to interact with collectors, other artists. Uh, usually I'm just here by myself and nobody's really watching me. And so it's, it's really fun to share my process with um, different collectors and other artists too. So definitely one of my favorite events that the Russell show puts on. And I, I can't even remember how many years I've been doing it. I think it's like six or seven years um, with that specific event and uh, definitely one of my favorites. Well, thanks, Jennifer. I know folks just really enjoy seeing you every year, and it, it seems like there's just this really dynamic energy that's in the room um, that you can sense in the other parts of the Russell Exhibition and Sale as well, but there's just something with Art in Action that has a life of its own. It's a bit organic, um, and I think it just draws people together. So um, we just appreciate, once again, you lending a little bit of insight to uh, where you're at as an artist uh, right now and the piece that you're working on, which I think is just to your left. You wouldn't mind giving us a little bit of an overview, would you? Sure, this, this piece um, is a Rocky Mountain National Park kind of inspiration. 
And one of the most beautiful thing about Rocky Mountain National Park, and I really have a passion for our national parks, and this one happens to be just 30 miles up the road from me, is the lily pads and the moose just kind of wallowing around in the lily pads is um, definitely always been an inspiration. And um, just, I really like how this piece is coming. Eventually, you know, I, I have my process with, I'm kind of known for the, the hand painted lettering. So I have one I can show you that's in process right now. This is another moose. It's gonna be a Teton piece. And I don't know if you can see the, at the top we, there. We can. In the, the lettering, I've done the bottom already. But um, I, I, three years ago, I came up with this concept of bringing back that vintage uh, posters that were done in the 30s um, to kind of get people to go to the national parks and enjoy them. So they hired unemployed artist um, to do these screen printed designs. And the lettering wasn't perfect. So uh, a lot of them kind of look funky and like, well, that would be kind of fun to bring back that look into the paintings. Um, growing up with um, a father who is a plant pathologist for the, the government, um, we would travel to most of the national parks around the country and I would collect those little post, uh, little, I guess they're postcards of every park that I went to and I, have, I still have a handful of them. So kind of bringing back that look and it gives my pieces something a little different than just, um, you know, landscape with wildlife in it. So it's been kind of fun. And I'm hoping there's uh, 62 national parks. I painted about 22 uh, eventually to, to paint every national park. Wow, that's quite a goal. That's quite a, an ambitious goal as well. Yeah, so, so we'll see what happens with that. And I definitely need to visit a few and it, it, I can throw my three kids and um, take them camping and, you know, uh, hiking and just try to, to see all these parks that we have here in our country that are so beautiful. Well, I certainly think that your approach to featuring the national parks has been kind of a, an iconic element um, to, to your, your recent work. And I, I certainly know that in the past few sales, it's, it's really drawn great attention and it's been a fan favorite. So, you know, I, I think that your work here with this art in action piece is certainly in line with that. You know, it brings me to the next question. Um, you know, how do you get inspired by a piece? I mean, certainly you mentioned that you have an affinity for the parks. You want to showcase the parks. But how about that scene specifically? I mean, how do you take an idea and go from a concept to something that comes to life on your canvas? That's a good question. Um, I usually will go and enjoy the environment. Maybe I've gone and taken specific like lily pad pics. And, you know, of course, the scene would never look like this. This would be, you know, I had to compose this from probably 20 different images. So I'll do a sketch first. Um, kind of envision like what what would make me drawn to this scene and what compositionally will look good. So working with that was so number one starting with where I've been photographs and then from that composing in a sketch form and then if that looks good then going to canvas and you know a lot of times um, I'll be working on something and something will change you know maybe it it works out a little differently than um, I thought it was going to be originally. So uh, I guess that's that's how I would usually compose something. Well, it, it comes together in such a deliberate manner. And, you know, that piece there, I mean, you can look at it and you can get a sense of being pretty close to that that bull moose and, and the, the water in that pond, the tranquility of it is just fantastic. Jennifer, thank you again for joining us. Thank you for being a part of the CM Russell community, the Russell Skull Society of Artists, and for your support uh, during this, this uh, challenging time for our uh, community of patrons and, and for our country. Art has a healing quality, and we're just so appreciative of all that you bring to it. Well, thank you. I, I can't wait to see my fellow artists and collectors, uh, maybe in 2021 or whenever. We'll see what happens in the next year, but um, I do appreciate the museum. They've been a huge part of launching my career. So I, I thank you for that.
Well, thank you, Jennifer. You enrich the work that we're doing. And, and thank you for everyone for joining us for this Art in Action Artist Showcase. And we want to thank our sponsor, D. Davidson Companies, uh, without whom uh, we wouldn't have uh, this event and without whom we wouldn't be able to fund our many education programs that help us communicate the art and soul of the American West. So we're signing off. Thank you for joining us.